Hello, beautiful people. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our channel. <laughs> why, why, why are you smiling? Uh, you, you see any difference in me or anything no, else? You just said that we are going to speak English. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, after, yeah, after, after a long time, yeah. So, anyway, today we are going to react on a video and it is... Bali versus Thailand. Mm, Bali, okay. One city versus a country. Yeah. Thailand. So, let's see. How uh, do they compete? So let's start. Which is better, Thailand or Bali? I've actually been asked this question more times than I can count, and it's one of the hardest things for me to answer because I love both of them. They both have unique things to offer, and even though they both have blue water, they're completely different destinations. I studied in Bangkok, Thailand, and I've traveled most of the country, and I actually live in Bali, Indonesia. So I definitely have a lot to share. He lives, let's get into it. lives in Bali. It's probably we can start with the problem on the two guys. Okay, okay. I'm not wrong. I'm probably often watching videos for that part. Yeah, this video. Yeah. We should also do some kind of business. Which is the most inexpensive? Yeah. Which is safer? Which has the best food? Which is the most fun? And which one I recommend most? The first thing I need to get out of the way is that Thailand is an entire country. And Bali is a single island in Indonesia. Yeah. Thailand being a country is so much bigger than the island of Bali. And because of this massive landmass difference, you're going to see that Thailand definitely has more variety to offer. From the chaos of Bangkok, the elephant-inhabited jungles of the north of Chiang Mai, and of course, the beautiful rocky cliff sides of Maya Bay. Bali, on the other hand, is for the most part all inside this one landmass. But despite being significantly smaller, you're going to be shocked at the diversity of experiences. From waterfalls to rice terraces, from surfing Uluwatu, partying in Changu, or going on a silent retreat in the north, this island punches well above its size. With that out of the way, let's see which of these destinations is the least expensive. In both Thailand and Bali, you're going to see massive spreads in the price you pay for the local food versus the tourist restaurants. On the local side, you can certainly get away with spending $1 to $2 and having a really satisfying meal. But once you make your way to a trendy coffee shop in Bangkok, in Koh Phi Phi, or here in Changu, you're starting to look at prices around $5 to $8 just for the meal. From my recent visit back to Thailand, I actually would say that Bali's food prices were very similar, if not just a little bit cheaper. But right now, one of the things that's going on in Bali is a massive housing shortage and because of that hotels villas and anything else that gives you a bed is going to be significantly more expensive than it used to be because of that i would say thailand is quite a bit cheaper on the housing side of things probably running about 20 to 25 percent less per night in terms of entertainment i would say whether you're going on a boat ride a day trip or anything of that nature your activity budget is going to be very comparable across the two destinations and in thailand you're gonna get such a kind of service as well exceptionally affordable you can get around the entire Island like body massage, that costs you things like that. Dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Or you could have a chauffeur vehicle Are you for about $30 to $40 a day. Now, do Thailand, you want before, some kind of massage? If you, plan if you to get a, most of it, an opportunity, you can talk about this after. I learned a few Okay, so he is interested. In so, guys, stay tuned. But once you leave Bangkok, be prepared because flights are going to be relatively expensive and also the private taxis outside of the city are easily four to five times more expensive than in Bangkok. Overall, oh, no. you can certainly rough it in either destination for $25 a day or you can have a comfortable trip from $50 to $100 a day. But I would say the least expensive is going to be Bali because of the fact your transport is just going to cost you a lot more in Thailand. Better than market conditions. Trade with zero commissions and instant withdrawals. <laughs> Excess. Now let's talk about which is the safest. And for me, it's pretty simple. It's Bali. Bali is one of the safest places I've ever been. Whether you get on a scooter and drive to the north or the far extreme to the south, you always feel safe here. People are extremely kind. If your bike broke down in the middle of nowhere, a local will invite you in, fix up your bike, and likely not even charge you for it. The amount of love that I feel here on this island from local people is very difficult to find anywhere else in this planet. But on top of that, it's very seldom that I see Balinese people getting angry. It's not very often that I see them manipulating prices. Sure, if you go to the taxi at the airport, be prepared to pay a premium, a serious premium. But in Thailand, I see things done in a less honest way. The biggest danger of Bali is actually the same thing that you're going to face in Thailand. It's going to be motor accidents, especially if you're new to scootering. Be very careful, wear a helmet. I've seen more than enough scooter accidents to last a lifetime. It's always happening to the backpackers that are just not yet skilled 
loaded up on their bikes, or even worse, the ones that have had too much to drink. So don't be that person. That is the biggest danger of any Southeast Asian destination. Not to play mom LeBlanc here, but just remember to get health insurance before traveling because the unexpected can happen no matter where you travel. Now as for Thailand, I feel exceptionally safe in this country. It's a very beautiful place with kind people, but we are comparing them to Bali. And Bali is at a different level. The people here are so gentle and sweet. And in Thailand, they can be a little more harsh. They can be a little bit more forward and certainly a lot faster to anger. Oh yeah, and people get really, really messed up at the fire shows in Thailand. If you're gonna indulge in some Chang beers, my recommendation is do not try to do the fire rope jump. I've seen some things that I cannot unsee. That's all I'm gonna say. So, I have had a lot of suitcases, but there's one thing that's groundbreakingly different about this one. Now, this suitcase is incredibly premium. <laughs> all the materials from this entire the wheels are literally smooth as butter. I've never had a suitcase that basically rolls itself. The wheels are that good. The wind literally... Is it by a bunny? show you is this. This is what makes this suitcase my new suitcase. I'm very excited about this because instead of splitting the suitcase down the middle, you access from this top. And what this does one. for you is it means that whether you are shoving yeah. your suitcase in a corner, it's in a small and closet, you now can access everything, everything without the inconvenience of having to try or and hold it in a suitcase in a small corner. And to make things even better, this suitcase is probably the biggest I've ever had, but you can make it even bigger. And the whole Kubo series has the same design with the top access, a very beautiful carry-on suitcase with a laptop sleeve. For any traveler, it's so handy to have a built-in locking system. So, Is he promoting this or...? Okay, this is a promotion. I thought that's a part of vlog. Come on, man. Let's see how long they stay that way. If you guys want to get yourself a set of low gel suitcases or any of their other amazing backpacks, then check that link down below and let's get back to the video. Check there. Food. Okay, we will check it Travel is immersing yourself in new culinary experiences, then the clear winner for you is Thailand. Thailand is a mecca for foodies. Thai food is certainly not limited to spicy food. The breadth of the culinary experiences here is mind-blowing. In my eyes, there's only a couple other countries on this planet that can keep up with Thailand. Their food is just on another level. From masaman curry, pad ka prao, and mango sticky rice, I mean, you could literally travel to Thailand just to eat and leave a very, very happy traveler. Now let's talk about Bali, a destination that's not exactly internationally renowned for its local cuisine, but in my opinion, it's definitely a must experience when you come travel here. There's some really great local dishes, babi guling, pork ribs being one of my favorites. For the budget traveler, you're gonna get to know and love nasi goreng, which is basically nasi goreng is one of the famous. Everyone talk about this nasi goreng, nasi goreng. For me, there's no comparison. Okay. And although food is so yeah, I've heard so many times. Thailand is kind of the landslide winner on the food side. Aku heard. Now let's talk about the beauty. And as you can see, this is my opinion. Aku heard One of the most, no, actually the most beautiful beach I've Aku ever heard seen. In bagus, uh, in pagi, in malam, in sorry time, every time. All right, so uh, he uh, chose that uh, Thailand is better than yeah. Bali. By the way, he explained each and everything very, very well. Yeah, from uh, financial, fi financially, and uh, other places to visit, and uh, so many other things. He yeah. tried uh, his best to explain, like, uh, uh, but but it's uh, the ch choice of uh, the tourist, whoever is going to visit. Yeah. He is going to choose uh, that uh, should he visit, uh, you know, Thailand or Bali. But uh, he said that pros and cons, uh, advantages and disadvantages yeah. of both the places. So, yeah, it's up but to he compared one island with the whole country. Yeah, one island with and the whole There are so many places you can say in yeah. Indonesia, yeah, which you can visit. Thousands of uh, you know, Probably tiny 17,000 17, plus island. minus uh, uh, tiny islands are present in Indonesia. So, uh, every single place has, uh, you know, its own kind of beauty. So, and we just probably explored four or five islands. Yeah, wrong. yeah, exactly. And we are watching those again and again, again and again. And uh, you know, there and are so many dry, others, yeah. there are so many others which uh, still haven't been covered, um, like. Uh, uh, in uh, good quality yeah. so there might be some videos of people uh, you know capturing the videos of different places but you know 
uh, we most of the time we reaction uh, we react to those videos uh, which are in you know higher higher quality yeah and, and uh, we you suggest us in the comment section and also um, which are professionally you know recorded yeah like uh, having uh, some uh, drone scenes etc uh, etc et so i personally like those types of videos yeah. like cinematic shots. like you see uh, from above you see each and everything clearly you know <laughs> you know <laughs> hello what are you thinking about uh, no 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 i'm thinking i'm i'm not thinking anything you know okay. <clears throat> uh negative i'm not thinking i'm thinking positively i'm just trying to say that each and everything Swear all the parts have been <laughs> covered you know and everything we can see clearly uh from top and uh, we can you know observe things uh, more better yeah so anyway guys uh we can discuss more uh, after finishing this video so guys if you like it please make sure to give a like subscribe and press the bell icon and just us more videos so yeah. that's it for today see you next video till then goodbye have a nice day empty hearts in neon lights the play with my mind got to get out of fear